Hey, another day, another meal I've got to make. So here I am about to make something super easy. And as you know, um, Scott's the one that encouraged me to do this whole thing anyhow. And I realized that it was quite clever of him because I think underlying he wanted me to make more meals. And as you may have noticed, I didn't post anything last week besides that first one. And I said I was going to do at least two videos. Well, didn't happen. So, um, matter of fact, shamefully, I think I only made one meal last week. So, better get on the ball and... Here I am in person instead of narrating for somebody else. I really like somebody else to be cooking with me, but um, or at least to bounce funniness off of, but today it's just me, myself, and I. So hopefully this is something super easy you can make. And um, as for recipes, I completely wing it. So hopefully you'll find your own creativity in this cooking process that I use and come up with something clever yourself. So this is a what I call, it's like Pad Thai. I was thinking about it. I guess I could call it Pad America. America Pad does, definitely doesn't sound good. So let's call it America, sorry, Pad America. It's American Pad Thai. So first I just used um, Jif peanut butter. Isn't it Choosy Moms Choose Jif? Is that right? Is that how it goes? Choosy Moms Choose Jif? Who knows? You'll notice I like to say phrases of things and then I forget how they go. So I usually use like two and a half to three big heaping um, spoonfuls. And then I add honey, whatever honey I buy. This is kind of an expensive one, you don't have to. So just squirt it in. Again, I wing it. If you want more exact directions, feel free to ask and um, I'll send you winged, winged measurements just like I'm doing right now. Ginger, I love ginger. Some people don't, so I am going to use um, about an inch long squeeze of this. And this is super easy to buy versus the actual ginger root. I don't have time to shred that stuff, so just buy it in this tube right here. It's a little bit more expensive, but it lasts like, I think I've had this for six months. So, and then just a tad bit of garlic. If you like garlic, add more. I don't love garlic, so I'm just gonna put Yay amount, just like that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Da -da 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 -da. I never remember lyrics to songs. A little bit of lemon juice. I'm not sure why I add this. Um, I think I saw in a cooking show once, like you're supposed to add acidity to like sweet stuff to balance it out. I'm not a technical chef by any means, trust me. Like I said, I wing it. This. This is not a secret, um, it, not to me it's not a secret, maybe to you, it's a healthier version of soy sauce. So just coconut aminos, it doesn't have to be organic. I bought this at Trader Joe's. Um, it's a seasoning sauce, but it literally tastes just like soy sauce and has, I, I could guess and say 50% less sodium. It's 300 milligrams and I'm pretty sure soy sauce has at least double that. So we're gonna add this in. Can't really see what I'm doing here. But the goal is to make the ratios equal. Like, so peanut butter's thicker. You want this to be more of like saucy. Saucy. So you really mix it up. And if it's too saucy, you can add more peanut butter. But I don't think it will be because peanut butter is super thick. I'm just going to mix this up. And then the other ingredient I add for spice is cayenne. So I just put a little bit of this and then let other people, if they want to season it more themselves, they can. Um, just because you don't want it to be too overpowering and then crushed red pepper. I'm just going to show you how to make the sauce because it's too boring to show you the other stuff and I don't have time for it, nor do you, even though I know some of you watch the videos all day long. No shame in your game. That's why you're watching this right now. I catch myself watching some random, random stuff on the internet and I'm like, what am I doing? Probably be better making better use of my time, but here I am. Now I'm making better use of my time making videos, so how about that? So I added more coconut aminos. Um, I think I added a tad bit too much cayenne. Again, you just wing this, seriously. Add some more honey. It's too spicy, you wanna add some more sweet. I don't have a degree in chefflery. Cooking, I should say, not chefflery. I like to make up words. And then it's still a little 
thick. I want it to fall off the spoon a little bit easier than that. Um, so I'll probably add a little bit more lemon. Again, you just play around with your mixtures. Feel free to taste it. I made this a little spicy, like I said, spicier than I wanted. So I'm gonna mix it up. And if it's still not sweet enough, you can add a little bit of brown sugar, but I find honey works better. It's good. It's yummy. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more garlic. I made more sauce than I had planned. <clears throat> and a little bit more ginger because I love ginger. Just do it to your liking. And then, this, is, this video is way longer than I wanted it to be. Good Lord, how are they? I guess Rachel Ray does it in 30 minutes, but stir it up. See it fall off the spoon just like that. And once it heats up, it's gonna liquefy a little bit more. I bought the Pad Thai stir fry kit. I'm not using the sauce because I made my own. So I'll either save that for later for like a marinade or something. So just throw this in the skillet, allow it to cook down a little bit, add your sauce. And I steamed, actually, I think I boiled chicken. Grill so it, boil it, whatever you want to do. That's it. See you next time.